In Clean My Space lingo, the kitchen is an MIA or a most important area, somewhere that we really want to feel clean on an ongoing basis, but something that can be challenging to keep clean on an ongoing basis. I know it's that way for me. I really struggle with keeping the kitchen clean, although I do love a good clean kitchen. And I know from reading comments and interacting with you guys a whole bunch that it's a challenge for you too. And a great way, and so many motivational speakers will tell you this, a great way to make something a habit is to just do it for 30 days straight and see the difference. And so many times I've given away these small little tips, you guys have implemented like the tiniest thing and you've told me it made such a difference for you. So in this video, what I'd like to do is put together seven of my favorite kitchen cleaning habits, things that have really helped me over the years, things that I hope will help you too. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you think the kitchen is an MIA or a most important area for you too. Kitchen counters really set the stage for the rest of your kitchen. If they're cluttered and dirty, everything else looks that way, even if you've just spent an hour scrubbing and making the kitchen clean. So if you want your kitchen to look and feel clean, make sure that your counters certainly look and feel clean too. There is a multifaceted approach we need to take to this though. The first part is making sure that there's no visual clutter on your counter. You can see behind me, even when we're filming a video, we make sure there's not a bunch of clutter hanging out on the counter. We make it nice, neat, and tidy so that you don't have a lot of things that you have to look at. You just see this nice, clean kitchen. Now, the other thing to keep in mind with, with counters specifically are the stains and the crumbs. So you can do your eye level test, which I've talked about before. We get right down to eye level. You look straight on at the counter. You can see any crumbs and any stains. And then, of course, you can just treat your counter with an appropriate cleaner. For my kitchen, I have granite counters now, so I'll be using our natural stone all-purpose cleaner simple solution I can put the recipe link for you down below and of course you want to make sure that you're wiping any marks and stains off on a regular basis so that your counters look nice and clean when it comes to the fridge it's so easy to just load it up with things you think you're gonna eat but you never quite do case in point we have leftovers from Chipotle from three nights ago that Chad told me he was going to eat, but he for sure has not eaten. I assure you, if I open the fridge, it'll still be there. When you open it up, even if it's just to grab a snack or if it's to put groceries in there, always make sure that you're pulling things out that you know are just not going to be eaten. Under the sink, that is what we call here at Clean My Space a clutter black hole. It is so simple to just shove something in there, a cleaning tool, it's kind of like a fridge. You throw something in there that you think you're gonna use, but you never quite do. And even we're guilty of that. We find like a cool cleaning tool, but we never end up using it. So it's important if you're going in, pulling something out, you see something that you don't use, get rid of it. And the same goes for utensil drawer. If you're in there and you're digging around for something and you keep passing over that one utensil that you never quite use, it probably means it's time to go. I know it can be overwhelming to set aside a couple of hours to give your kitchen a good thorough clean. So if you find that overwhelming, instead, why don't you incorporate deep cleaning one area of your kitchen a week into your habit or your weekly routine? So if you pick something in your kitchen that you know can be a little bit overwhelming, but at least it's not aggregated with a whole bunch of other tasks that are heavy duty and time consuming, you'll actually find maintaining your kitchen on a regular basis much more straightforward. So I'm talking about things like cleaning your oven racks, your overhead exhaust, your fridge, your kitchen table. There are areas in your kitchen, little secret pockets that can get really greasy and really grimy. But if you set aside a few minutes, give that one area some good thorough attention, you'll find that your kitchen will look clean on an ongoing basis. Here's something that we can all universally agree on. I mean, there are so many polarizing things happening in the world these days, but I really believe that we all cannot stand the smell of garbage. If you disagree with me, you can go ahead and dislike this video, but I think we're all on the same page here. If you have a garbage can, which I'm assuming most people do, you probably notice that when you take out the garbage, 
the garbage can still has a remnant odor to it. So a habit that I want you to get into, which is something that we've started doing here because now we have a classy garbage drawer in this house. So the garbage is much more up in the grill. We really have to take good care of it. What we're doing now is spraying our garbage after we empty it. So we're just spraying it down with something like full strength vinegar or a disinfectant. That is helping to get rid of any odors while we're throwing out, you know, tying up the garbage, throwing it out. The product can do its work. When we come back, we give it a quick wipe, rebag it, throw the paper towel in the freshly bagged garbage and move on. And now we don't have a smelly garbage anymore. So if you notice that garbage smells are an issue for you, try doing that as a new habit. The sink is something that's so easy to keep clean, but it can be kind of inconvenient, especially if you're rushing around doing a bunch of other things in the kitchen. You see, when I rinse out a bowl in the sink or something like that, I don't actually want to clean the sink as well. It's like I want to clean the bowl and then I want to move on with my life. However, if you do that 20 times throughout the course of a day, your sink is going to be gross. So if you want to have a really nice sparkling clean kitchen, it's important to focus on that sink. The good news about a sink is that it's actually quite easy to clean and make look beautiful. If you have some baking soda handy, Sprinkle that into your sink, if nothing else, just some baking soda and a sponge and like 45 seconds of your time will get it polished up and clean. Give it a good scrub, give it a rinse, grab a microfiber cloth and shine it, you're done. And your sink looks amazing. There's wanting a clean kitchen and then there's working to have a clean kitchen. Now, I don't like doing too much work to clean. You guys know that about me. But the way that I can achieve a clean kitchen on a fairly regular basis is to have some sort of a routine, a manageable routine, one that works for me and my expectations of what I want in a clean kitchen. So everybody has a different level of what is meaningful and important to them, which is why you need to establish your own kitchen cleaning routine, both for the morning and the evening. And we've created videos on this. There's a whole genre on YouTube about this. But essentially, what I like to do in the morning, my kitchen cleaning routine, if you will, I boil some hot water for tea. I make sure the dishwasher is unloaded because I find the dishes are like the biggest issue when it comes to keeping a clean an organized kitchen. So I make sure that's done. I make sure the sink is clean. I go on my way for the day. And that way when I come home, come in, I can put used water, um, water bottles. No, I have a baby now. Formula bottles, any food containers that I've used, anything else that's been floating around the house for the day. And then of course, after dinner, all dishes can go into the dishwasher, make sure that the counters are wiped down and do a really quick touch up of the floor. It isn't perfect, but honestly, it keeps this place clean enough so that if someone were to come over, I'm not gonna like die of embarrassment. So come up with a kitchen cleaning routine that works for you. It's really good to have one for the morning and one for the evening and it does not have to be longer than just a few quick minutes. Very early in my dating career with Chad, we started to have this debate about whether you should rinse dishes before you put them in the dishwasher or not. And then when you start living together, you have like your little shtick and then that person has their little shtick and you have to kind of come together in a way where you don't want to kill each other, but you can kind of respect each other's needs. So one of the big struggles that we had was like, I would get really annoyed if the dishes weren't washed off because then the schmutzy dishes go in the dishwasher and then it starts to smell. And Chad was of the mind where, no, dishwashers can handle anything. Just throw, throw a whole thing of eggs in there, no problem. <laughs> the dishes will come out clean, which I don't really think is the case. But over the years, I've noticed that dishwashers can get smelly if you put dishes with food in there. And when I was just staying with my mom while our house was under renovations, she's adamant, I wonder where I get it from, that the dishes are cleaned off before they go in the dishwasher. And guess what? No smell. So I have a habit where I like to wash the dishes off because I just think, A, they come out cleaner and B, you don't have a smelly dishwasher, but Chad is still of the mind where no, you just throw the cheese and eggs and every tomato sauce, everything in the dishwasher on your plates and they'll come out a-okay. Who cares if the dishwasher smells or not? And actually that leads me to this week's comment question. I'd love to know in the comments down below, where do you stand on this debate? Do you wash your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher? Or are you like, uh, no, let the dishwasher do that. I got things. 
Let me know in the comments down below. Our renos are well underway. If you want to catch up with all the latest and greatest and what's going on in the new CMS HQ, we're always sharing things on Instagram. So make sure that you're following me. I'm at Melissa Maker Chad at the Chad Reynolds. The two of us are at Clean My Space. There's also mm, a pretty daily dose of Riley on there. So if you want to see those pictures, they're pretty cute. They're up there as well. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn about Maker's microfiber cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.